just want to unmute the mic. Sorry about that. Good evening and welcome to Living Spirit Ministries. This is our Bible study for the 27th of April. It's hard to believe that it's gone by that quickly, but tonight we're, we're on Zoom um, and we are trying to get everybody into a place in which you can be collaborative. If you don't have the Zoom uh, link there, check uh, check us out and it'll it'll put you up on there. But if not, then what we have displayed before you, you'll see the Living Spirit Ministries banner there. Uh, we're going to wait a little bit for, for some folks to come on in. But you'll see the Living Spirit Ministries banner there. Uh, in the future, I'll put the, um, the Zoom link on there. But we want to make this a little bit more participatory, more collaborative. But we'll We'll find a way to get you there um, just in the event that we don't quite uh, get you here up on Zoom. But the purpose of the Zoom for tonight is that we're going to have some Bible trivia. And so we want you to be able to participate in it. Um, there is a prize at the end for the person who gets the most questions right. So we're going to rightly divide the word, but in a form of some Bible trivia here. And so if you're on Facebook Live, don't go anywhere. Um, you're just kind of a little bit disadvantaged because we will have to, uh, <laughs> how should we put it? We'll have to try to get your answers in um, a little bit differently there, but that's okay. Um, again, if you're just joining us, we're going to do some Bible trivia tonight. If you'd like to join us on Zoom, uh, check us out on the, on the Zoom link that we have there, and that Zoom link will bring you in. I uh, appreciate you guys coming in tonight, uh, but if you're on Facebook Live, we're going to try and do our very, very, very best to capture you um, and all of the uh, of the comments uh, that are, are posted there um, in, in terms of uh, getting you there. So um, appreciate you coming on. All right. We, 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 we've getting a few more folks coming in here on, um, on Zoom. And so if you don't have the Zoom link, it is on our Facebook uh, invite. It's in there. Let me let me go over real quickly. Uh, let's see, Zoom link. It is HTTPS backslash backslash US 02 web Zoom. Oh, Lord, this is a little long. Let me see if I can get if I can get Pastor Talisa to put that into the um, actual actual text here into the web chat for this particular meeting. All right, we're taking a little bit longer here because I want to get y'all in here. We're going to do some Bible trivia. It's a little bit different than what we're what we normally do, um, but I think it's going to be pretty good. So uh, let's see here. I'm going to put this in here. Hopefully, thumbs up that y'all get it. And if you want to join us in Zoom, go ahead and click on it. If not, we're going to go ahead into prayer. I've got myself and two other folks in the Zoom chat. Come on in. Click the link. Come in. And, uh, and we'll go ahead and we'll rightly divide the work. But if not, um, you can still participate. We're just going to monitor the comments there. In the Zoom, the rules of engagement here for the Zoom. Uh, come up, unmute your mic, answer the question. If you're correct, then um, then you go ahead and uh, you'll get a tick next to your name. The more ticks you get next to the name, uh, the closer you are to winning the mystery prize. Those who are on Facebook Live, you could still participate. Send it in through the chat there. Um, we'll get your name. We'll put you down, and it should be a good event. All right. If all hearts and minds are clear, we're going to go ahead and we're going to pray. And we thank you now for attending, because again, we know you could be any place in the world, but you have chosen to come and to worship uh, the Lord with us by getting to know him, right? We're learning to walk one step at a time. We're getting to know him and we're going through. All right. So glory to his name. Heavenly Father, we call to you tonight and we thank you for this Bible study and this Bible trivia. And Father God, we just want to have fun getting to know you that we can come to trust you, Father God, and ultimately believe in your word. And Father, you said your word is sharper than any two-edged sword, Father God. And so as we wield it tonight, Father God, 
We use it for offense and defense, Father God, to repel the enemy, Father God, and to rebuke the devourer, Father God. You said to resist the devil and he shall flee. So, Father God, we ask that your words be put into our mouth. All the angst, all the struggle, all the hardship, all the pain, Father God, we rebuke it right now in the name of Jesus. We bind it up right now in the name of Jesus, and we glory in your holy name that as we go forth, Father God, your words, not our words, be in our heart, Father God, your word. Not our words, order our steps. And so, Father God, we thank you now for meeting us at the point of need. We glory in your holy name, Father God, for we know that all things begin and end with you, Father God. So thank you now for this day, this hour, this very moment. Now, Father God, hopefully something is said, something is done that will allow your light to ruminate, to illuminate not only our past, but Father God, go and get to the captives of the darkness, Father God. Then we can say something, do something, Father God. They will allow those who are in darkness to see your light, Father God. It's not by our own works, Father God, but by your spirit that is flowing through us. So, Father God, we glory in your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. All right, all right. So, so we're going here. We're going to go to the word. Um, we're we're, we're going to go to our slides. So, hopefully, what you're seeing before you is, is you are God's investment. And like we said, we're, we're, we continue to post that and... Um, I want you to understand that, that God cares about you. Do you take nothing else out of these Bible studies each week? God cares about you. He's going to invest in you. You don't invest into something that is not meaningful uh, to you. At least I hope not. Um, but it is of some value to you. And that's why we invest into it. And we've talked about that since the beginning of the year. Well, God is investing into you. And, and if you just take the time out to get to know him, you'll understand that not only has he invested in you, he continues to invest in you and that he will continue um, to place that investment into you. All right. So as we go forth, uh, the next slide, you'll see uh, a little spoiler alert tonight. We're still going to get into God's work. But we're going to do a little bit of Bible trivia. If you join us a little bit later uh, on YouTube, the, the, the tape delay, um, I challenge you to go through as well and still do the Bible trivia um, and, and, and continue to take your resources and learn some things here. Uh, not anything necessarily excessive, but if this thing goes all right, then I'm, I'm hoping to make this a, a, a recurring event. Maybe not every week, but, but periodically. And then as we shift Bible study back into the sanctuary, um, obviously we like to do that with the folks that are there live in the sanctuary when that day comes, but also the participatory uh, actions as we reach across uh, the pond, as we reach across this particular country, uh, in all parts in between, that we can go and we can just have uh, some fun learning the Bible. And then as we learn some things there, um, and we make this thing a little bit more intricate, uh, hopefully you go back, get a little bit more direct study and prepare. And so if that sounds all right, we're going to go ahead and we're going to keep pushing on. All right. Um, and I just need a thumbs up that when, when the, uh, so I'm still seeing Bible trivia up over here. Um, but I don't see the questions uh, up on Facebook Live. Okay, so we're good. Now, the other thing I need is I need my, my handy dandy uh, assistants um, capturing those who are on Facebook Live as they will answer the question. Hopefully, you can see the questions. If not, I'm going to read them, and, uh, and hopefully, you can understand what I am saying and be able to get those questions as well. If that sounds good, can I get a thumbs up in the chat or at least an acknowledgement in the chat? Anyone? Bueller? Okay, I got a thumbs up over Zoom. All right, and do we have any acknowledgement over the chat? I'm seeing a couple of people in the chat. All right, so we got, we got acknowledgement into the chat. All right, so the first question you see before you, is, is, is kind of a softball, right? We're going to use a lot of sports analogies here. Um, you know, a lot of baseball, softball, uh, and a couple of strikes. Um, so the first question is a true or false question. And we're going to ask you about the Bible, right? Uh, the most popular book ever written is the Bible. True or false? True or false? And again, if you're on Zoom, unmute your mic. Come on, because I don't have the chat open for, for Zoom. But if you're if you're on Facebook Live, feel free to type it in, and and we'll we'll see who's the first person to answer there. I need some Jeopardy music here, although we're not playing Jeopardy. 
True or false? The most popular book ever written in terms of how many copies have been sold. So, so think about it. Think about how long the Bible has been around and in circulation. Think about how many times it's been reprinted in the many uh, different translations. Because just a little spoiler here, uh, the, 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 the Bible was originally written, this could have been a question, was originally written, uh, well, the Old Testament in Hebrew with a little bit of Aramaic, right? The, the New Testament in terms of Greek, right? And then the Septuagint, meaning, meaning 70, uh, digested that thing and interpreted it into Greek. They, they, they translated it into Greek. And then you had the Vulgate that turned it into Latin. And from the Latin, um, it went into German, all right? Printing press came around. Uh, and then from German, it went into a um, multitude of different languages there. And then why the King James Version is so popular, um, it hit the printing press right was what allows us there but throughout the you think throughout all that time god's word span right and it kept reproducing 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 and so we got multiple all right i haven't heard anyone in zoom oh wait a minute i'm sorry i i see sister kaylin has her hand up go ahead and speak um true okay i see you but i don't hear you do you oh. hear me now All right, go ahead. Say that again, Sister Galen. True. Gonna have to speak up a little louder. True. True. The answer is true. And so we will put one mark for Sister Kaylin there. All right. So I guess it helps if I unmute my speaker to be able to hear the responses. All right. So we got you there. So Sister Kaylin is, oh, and there she's got a little party favor going. So she's first on the board there. I want to hear from some of my Facebook Live folks. All right. So the second question that we have, what is the first book of the Bible? First book of the Bible. That's another softball. If you have your Bible with you or if you're online and digitally, you should be able to get that first book of the Bible. Anyone? Anyone? First book of the Bible. Oh, Sister Kayla's got her hand. She's on fire right now. Anybody else in the Facebook Live? Anyone else got the question there? Huh? No? Okay. You, you got to unmute yourself, Sister Kayla. Genesis? Genesis is the correct answer. All right. We got to stop her from getting all the questions. We seem to have lost pastor talicia we don't see her right now where did she go she disappeared she's going to miss out on the questions all right the next question that we have the next question we have and it looks like i have come out of my okay next question what we're going to go to how many days did god take to create the world now you know i talk a lot about the book of genesis and so this should be another softball to go there all right anybody uh oh we lost somebody on facebook my facebook uh my facebook errs anybody on there yes i see i see miss Kaylin has Sister Kaylin has her hand risen. Okay. Are you going to go for your third in a row here? Can I? Hey, go. You're, you're the only one raising hand right now. We seem okay. to have lost a, a, a Pastor Talisa, and, and we, 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 our Facebook crowd is a little quiet. Seven. That is incorrect. Yeah, after I said it's six, because six. <laughs> How many days did God take to create the world? We're, we're gonna. Would you would you like to uh, take a lifeline? Call a friend. How many days did, did Okay, so Pastor Talisia gets 
the correct answer and is on the board. God took six days to create the earth or to create the world, right? And on the seventh day, he did what? Rested. He rested. Okay. So gold star for Pastor Talicia. All right. Um, I'm going to ask, oh, Sister Kaylin, you still have your hand raised. Did you have a question? Oh, no, hands down. All right, I'm going to ask Pastor Talicia to do a check on learning for, oh, we got sad face from, from Sister Kaylin. All right, so you would have gotten partial credit, but not complete credit, and we need complete credit to give you a tick mark. So, so sorry, sorry, but we're learning things. Yes, so God took, uh, he, he, Genesis talks about a total of seven days, right? But um, six days to actually create the world, seventh day he rested, right? Hence, when you pivot it forward, he talks about on that, that seventh day, that Sabbath, he commanded Israel to observe a Sabbath, right? Um, and so, so some, some, some thought processes there. All right, I need you to do a little check on wellness for our, for our Facebook friends here. Are there any comments on the Facebook? No comments. Do we have anybody on Facebook? We did earlier. We did earlier. Okay, so Facebook, I need you to chime in. This is not just mutually exclusive. We can't necessarily have Sister Kaylin dominate, um, although she, she, she swung and missed on that particular pitch. All right, so staying within the book of Genesis, who was the first man? Adam. All right. Uh, I'm sorry, Sister Kaylin. Um, Pastor Talicia, she somewhat got partial credit she did not come up on the, uh, she did not one, raise her hand like you have so politely done. And she did not come up on Zoom for the rest of the folk. Um, so I will defer to Sister Kaylin. You have the mic. Adam. Adam. Okay. So you get the correct answer there. Okay. See, so we got some, got some good questions there. Um, I think Pastor Talisi is going to give me a sad face now. Um, all right. So what was God? Now, see, now this is really a softball because we just had this. If you've been paying attention in previous Bible studies, what was God's sign to Noah that he would never destroy the earth again? I'm looking for somebody out there on Facebook. Does anybody out there on Facebook have the answer to the question? What was, because we don't want to discriminate here. Anyone on Facebook? Anyone on Facebook? We're looking for you, Facebook, to answer this question. How many, okay, oh, oh, oh getting ahead of myself. Uh, what was the sign? What was God's sign to Noah that he would never destroy the earth again. That one's right over the center of the plate. Come on, I, I Facebook. I know, I know there's someone out there. Is there anyone out there? Facebook. All right, I'm gonna turn it back over to the to the small crew on Zoom. All right, I think. All right, I need somebody. Oh, so I got Pastor Talise here. Your answer. The answer is a rainbow. A rainbow. A rainbow. Survey, Survey says. says. Correct answer. All right. Facebook, I'm looking for you guys to answer a question. All right. So what we're going to do here, I'm going to ask Pastor Talisa to, to scurry over here real quick. Oh, look at, look at, look at, uh, for those on Zoom, we now have a rainbow on there. Um, Pastor Talisi, you can take your hand down unless you have a question. Pastor Talisi is being that kid in class that, that, that just raises the hand, doesn't know what reason for. Okay, I'm going to ask Pastor Talisi to come over here real quickly. She doesn't have to necessarily get on camera, but if she can take a look, if she can just forward this question over Facebook and see all right, Facebook folks, I'm hoping that you are able to see this. And I'm going to mute real quick. 
I'm those on Zoom uh, and on Facebook. What? What? Are, Pastor Tosa, I need you. I need. I need you to come back over here, please. Okay, so for Facebook folks, we've just put a, uh, a question out there. Um, I don't know, maybe y'all are shy. Maybe y'all don't want to answer. But I want to be an equal opportunity giver here um, to show y'all's biblical trivia knowledge. So Facebook Live, we just sent a question out there that we did not put over to Airways. Hopefully I'm not muted. All right. You know, technology has been challenging us here lately. All right. And so, and yes, you can, you can take your hand down unless you're going to already answer it. All right. So speaking of technical difficulties. Okay. Who did God tell to build the ark? Oh. <laughs> Sister Kaylin, go ahead. Noah. Noah is correct. Pastor Talisa is having technical difficulties. That's what she is saying is her reasoning for not being able to answer the question. No. Yes, that's what she's saying over here. That may or may not be true. All right. So next question. Uh, let's see here. Where do we want to go? When Daniel prayed to God after... What's that? What? Okay. Yes, you keep putting that in. Is that for Facebook Live? Yes. Okay, good. Anyone answer on Facebook Live? No, because I don't put it in because it was a different question. Okay. So, who was the first king of Israel? Oh, boy. Silence. Facebook Live. I, I'm needing y'all to. I know there are some folks out there that got their Bibles, that are Googling, that are doing some stuff. All right, we got we got Sister Kaylin here. Sister Kaylin. Saul? Saul is the correct answer. Go, Sister Kaylin. All right. My Facebookers, how are we doing? I, I'm over here checking. I can't see the comments, but I see that we still got a couple of folk up on the net. I'm, I'm just asking y'all to come around. Okay. Who was G? Well, wait a minute. What about our question that we put on there just specifically for Facebook? Did no, we... no responses yet. No responses. We have an unresponsive group on Facebook tonight. Uh, so if we don't stop uh, the madness here, then Sister Kaylin is probably going to walk away. She is well in the lead with five check marks. And I believe that we've got some folks out there that are some biblical scholars um, and are just a little shy. So we're gonna keep we're gonna keep pressing. Um, and hopefully we we throw um, we're gonna we're gonna switch up to the bowling analogy here. We're gonna throw some strikes down the middle here, okay? Uh, so Facebook Live, if you're on there. All right, looks like we gained somebody else. If you're new, on Facebook Live, we are doing Bible trivia here uh, for Living Spirit Ministries. We're on Zoom as well as Facebook Live. Rules of engagement, Zoom, uh, they usually raise their hand and come up, unmute their mic and say it. Facebook Live, what you can do is quickly type it into there. Um, we also send some questions specifically on Facebook Live. I need just one person to validate that Facebook Live is actually working. You're getting the questions there. So again, I'm going to put a question out to Facebook Live. I'm going to mute so as to no cheating on, on Zoom. All right, I'm going to go mute. Well, I'm having some te technical difficulties here. All right, I'm back. And so Facebook Live, there's a couple of you on there. 
a message just went out to you. I feel like a DJ from the old days. You know, this one goes out to Facebook Live. So surely somebody on Facebook Live is going to get that answer. Somebody. There's two questions out there on Facebook Live. There are only Facebook Live questions that have not gone out to the Zoom crew. So Facebook Live, I'm, I'm, needing, you, I'm needing you to show up so we can give you some tick marks so you can get in this competition. All right. Got anything for Facebook Live? Not yet. Not yet. Okay. I know you're out there, Facebook Live, and I'm hoping that that's, uh, that that's coming through to you. All right. So another question here. We're, we're, we're taking up the intensity just a little bit, but these are all questions um, that you probably have heard me throw out. If you're a repeat offender here on Bible study, if not, um, hopefully, hopefully you can get the answer. So the next question is, is how many brothers did Joseph have? Not Joseph um, in the New Testament, but Joseph, right? Joseph, son of Jacob. Ooh, there's some silence there. Is that your final answer? Oh, so, uh, so hold, hold on a second there, Sister Kaylin. Pastor Talicia, no, 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 no. So who doesn't want to follow the rules here is blurted out an answer uh, and says that there are 12 brothers of Joseph. <laughs> okay, so now she's recanting her answer. So those of you who are out there, um, you, the question is still open. Now I've got Sister Kaylin on the line. Sister Kaylin, how many brothers did Joseph have, according 11. to the Bible, and not according to Pastor Talisi? Eleven. I'm sorry. That <laughs> no. Is also wrong. <laughs> the question is still open. The question is, how many brothers did Joseph have? Sister Kaylin, you should have stuck to your guns. You should have come with a biblical reference. It is because, <laughs> wait, <laughs> hold on, no, pause. I'm just thinking because he had that one brother that was his full brother, both the same parents, and the others were half, like, unless I'm counting wrong. Yes, yeah, you don't, you don't want to be like Pastor Talisa. So <laughs> yes, you are correct. But this is why it's important to have sound biblical doctrine, because some joker like me might come along and say, no, you're wrong. Right. <laughs> so, again, for the audience, how many brothers did Joseph have? Eleven. Eleven. How many total siblings did Jacob have? All right. How many offsprings did Jacob have? Didn't he all have a daughter? Well, you gotta you just just you gotta answer the question now. Let me give you credit here. <laughs> Can you repeat the question? How many total siblings? Or what well, about siblings? How many children did Jacob have? Okay, so we'll throw that out to the masses. And so, so Joseph had how many, right? How many brothers did he have? We, oh. we said 11, right? <laughs> but how many total siblings did he have? Or said another way, how many children did Jacob have? Children of Jacob. You can put the question two ways. How many siblings did Joseph, boy, you got some folks in the class always trying to push you here. So, so two ways to ask this question, right? All gets to the same answer. Joseph had how many siblings? Jacob had how many children? So Pastor Talisa said 11 siblings. Is that correct? 
no no <laughs> no <laughs> that's that's strike two for pastor <laughs> <laughs> sure, pastor talicia all right so anyone on facebook i saw one i saw okay let's see here so on facebook we have Ma Smith that says 10 half brothers, one full, and, and one, well, okay, we would have just taken the total there. So <laughs> make it be two math out loud. Um, and so, so we've got, uh, we've, we've got a total of 12, and that is a correct answer. Ding, 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 ding. So Mother Smith is on the board with the correct answer, yes. So the easy way to think about this, there are 12 tribes of Israel, Israel being um, the name that was given to Jacob after he wrestled. He contends with God, he wrestles with God, right? Um, and so from that point on, known as Israel, his, his sons, right? The 12 sons, 12 sons. So Joseph had, <laughs> had what? He had 11 brothers and one sister, right? So a total of 13. I know we don't normally do math here um, and it can be a little confusing, but but this is this is great. So we, we start breaking it down. So he had one sister. Does who, what was the name of the sister? What was the name of the sister? I like the Facebook participation. Can we get some more Facebook participation? Uh-oh. I got Sister Kaylin who's quick on a draw that we have Facebook participation there. Okay. All right, Sister Kaylin. Dinah? Dinah is correct. Dinah is correct. All right. And so, so here we go. Who was the first woman? Yeah. <laughs> Who was the first woman? Wow, we're a little slow on the response here. Okay, so Pastor Talicia. Eve. All right, I'm gonna need you to say a little louder for the group. Eve. Eve, okay, you're back on the board. Hey, Facebook Live crew, you gotta catch up. You gotta catch up. All right. All right. Let's see here. My Facebook Live crew. All right. We lost someone along the way, but we still got a couple of folks here. All right. What else? What else do we have here? So, who was Jesus's human mother? All right. Pastor Talisa blurted it out. <laughs> She, she said when she said Mary. All right. So, Sister Kaylin, you can take your head now. All right. Don't want to give points to the wrong folks. Then we can have people angry at Bible study. Ah, there. Sad, sad Sister Kaylin. Now, uh, Facebook Live crew, you had two questions out there. They were only out the Facebook Live, right? Now, we, we talked about last week about the importance of God's instructions, right? And we talked about God's word. And so instructions were that Facebook Live had some, some questions out there. And this is a way for you to, to, to pick up points, right, um, on those two questions out there. So scroll through the comments there because those are only out to Facebook Live, folks, um, and not to the um not to the zoom people here right you know and maybe in the future here what we'll do is we'll have two sets of questions here we'll we'll, we'll have a race between the zoom crew and the facebook live crew because the facebook live crew seem to be a little shyer right they don't want to come over here and get on the cameras and, and and speak but they got a powerful voice being able to type and i don't know if maybe the typing uh is a little bit slower but that's a that's some food for thought the next time that we do this have some separate questions for the facebook live and the you know team uh team facebook live versus team zoom so think about that give me your thoughts and opinions about that um as as we go along all right so how many wait a minute y'all didn't answer the question 
All right, all right, all right. You don't remember the question? We answered that. We answered that one, but I thought we threw out another one. All right. All right. Who were the three sons of Adam and Eve? Who were the three sons? Uh oh, Sister Kaylin is 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 raising her hand. What do you have? Cain, Abel, and Seth. Oh, uh, I think Sister Kaylin's cheating here. She's a little <laughs> quick on the on the draw here. Yes, you are correct. I'm offended. You're offended. Okay. All right. Although you... <laughs> it's so. Let's see here. All right, we're going to talk about Moses for a second here. So in the book of Exodus, it talks about Moses's mother placing him in a what and where uh, to save his life. It's a two-part question there. Uh, Sister Kaylin, you have the answer already? Or did your hand just remain raised? Oh. She's lowered her hand. All right, Facebook Live, this is your this is your opportunity. So two part. So Moses's mother, right, in the book of Exodus, it opens up. It talks about that Pharaoh had put forth an edict to kill the Hebrew boys, right? And so Moses's mother, upon his birth, placed him in a what and placed him where? All right, Pastor Talicia has her hand up. He placed them in a basket in the river. In the river. Okay. For a bonus point there, what, what, wherever did he put them? Did she put them in? Now? The Nile. Okay. All right. So, Sister Kaylin, Pastor Talicia is catching on you. I'm a little disappointed. Okay, you can put your hand down now. <laughs> you put your hand down up, you answer. All right, so we're our Facebook Live crew. Uh, when was the last time we checked on them? Are they answering some of the questions? Did they answer our two mystery questions out there that only went to them? Yes, and um, might have been simultaneously, but Ma Smith had in a basket in the Nile River. Okay. All right. Um, but I, I meant the other two that were specifically for. Oh, can they not see them? Yes, but you know, we kind of get lost. In the show. All right. All right. So, who did God tell to build the ark? Oh, boy. Sister Kaylin has raised her hand. Can we first, before we go to her, check to see? If Facebook Live, because I know there are some folks from Facebook Live that were here for the previous two Bible studies. And so this one should be a softball to them right over the middle of the plate. They should be able to knock it out the park. Facebook Live. Who did God tell to build the ark? No response. All right, Sister Kaylin, go. I just have a clarified question. <laughs> Clarify. Okay, like, go ahead. Like flood arc or the arc of the covenant? That's a good question there. Oh, Ma Smith. Uh -oh. <laughs> Ma Smith. Wait, Ma, Ma Smith has a question. Or has an answer. She has an answer. Ma Smith's answer was Noah was instructed. Noah was instructed. I'm sorry, Sister Kaylin. <laughs> your 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 question. So to be specific to your your question, we were talking and referring to not the Ark of the Covenant, um, but the actual Ark. Oh, well, I was confused because we already had this question, and I said Noah. 
Well, you should have said that we had the question already. <laughs> so Ma Smith gets the point. The point that, matter of fact, we should deduct from your point total to give to Ma Smith. We'll call it recycling. No, thank you. No, okay. So, all right. So the question was repeated. I'm sorry. Uh, let's see here. What else do we have here? Ah, what did God use to speak to Moses in the desert? <laughs> Pastor Talisi has now struck out. <laughs> Do we have anything from Facebook Live? Yes. Okay, to bring in a context, we're talking about in the beginning chapters of Exodus where Moses comes up on the scene um, and God introduces himself. He's in the desert and there's something that catches his eye. Sister Kayla. Flames in a bush. Flames in a bush. We will also accept that a burning bush, which is the more common uh, vernacular. <laughs> 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 but, but yes, flames in a bush, we will accept. Thank you. Bur burning bush, burning bush. <laughs> flames, flames burn. A, flame, flames in a bush. <laughs> burning bush, we got it. All right. So, all right, let's see here as to not repeat some of the questions. All right. Well, we had that one. That kind of tripped some people up. All right. Uh, who was Jesus's adoptive father on earth? So we talked about his mother, right? Who was his father? Facebook Live? Facebook Live, anyone? Bueller? Not yet. No? All right. So nothing for Facebook Live. Sister Kaylin. Joseph. Joseph, yes. Yes. So now you can get your recycle point back. All right. How many plagues did God send to Egypt? Ooh, some silence there. Uh oh, okay. Sister Kaylin has raised her hand. What about Facebook? I'm trying to wait. No more typing. Yeah. So, but Facebook, Facebook crew, you should have the questions there yeah. for you. Yeah, but because I'm hopping around. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the question is: Is how many plagues did God send to Egypt, or send on to Egypt? Number seventeen. Question number seventeen. Facebook Live. Anyone? I'm sorry, Sister Kaylin has already, she's come up to bat. All right, how many plagues, Sister Kaylin? 10. 10 plagues, yes. As a follow on to that one, what was the final plague that caused Pharaoh to let the slaves go? What was the final plague that convinced Pharaoh to let the slaves go? All right, we got a quick draw here. Miss, Miss Kalen, sister, uh, hold on a second. So the question repeated, what was the final? So we just talked, there are 10 plagues, mm -hmm. right? 10 plagues um, that God sent onto Egypt, right? So we got that, that was the first question. The next question is, what was the final plague? So what was the 10th? In other words, what was the 10th plague that God placed upon Egypt? Was there an answer from Facebook? No, there is a question once we finish this. There is a question. Okay, Sister Kaylin. Uh-oh. The death of the firstborn male. The death of the firstborn male. You are correct. Now. For us as Christians, 
this is important as well as with uh, the nation of Israel, the Jews, um, because the Passover was being uh, instituted there. God gave some very specific instructions. I know we talked last week, we used Noah, and we showed how God was bringing judgment upon the world, and he gave instructions. We have an intentional uh, God. He says what he means, means what he says, and gives instructions to everything about the ark, um, to the animals that were to be brought in, as well as the dimensions and all that type of stuff. So here, when you pivot forward into the book of Exodus, where um, where, where, where God goes to set the Israelites free, right? Uh, he gives specific instructions to them uh, to put what on to the door. Okay. Pastor Talisi said the blood, but what kind of blood? From what kind of lamb? Pure and unblemished. Uh, yes, from a lamb, from an unblemished lamb onto their where? Doorpost. Onto the doorpost. Okay. And so, yes, yeah, so we give you a point. Let me make sure I give you give you a tick mark here. And so that blood, and the reason why it's important not only for the Passover there, um, but you pay it for you, you, you foreshadow of what it would be. So you hear me often talking about the only acceptable and suitable sacrifice because sin requires atonement, right? And so we saw that going back to the book of Genesis. And we see it uh, for us as Christians as the propitiation. Jesus is that propitiation, that substitutionary sacrifice that we talk about, right? His blood being shed because of our sins eternal, right? He's the only suitable acceptable. On that night that he was betrayed, so when we celebrate communion, it talks about on that night he was betrayed. They were celebrating the Passover or the Feast of the Unleavened Bread, right? And this represents the fleeing, right? God's, well, twofold. God's passing over, the angel uh, coming through and killing the firstborn of all those that did not have the, the mark uh, of the blood, right? And so we have our own version of the Passover, but eternally uh, because that's so a lot of connection there. So hopefully you get that there. Cut out, throw out a whole bunch of Bible trivia there. So some free nuggets there as well. So we had 10 plagues there. Um, we, we saw the last plague being that of the, the death of the firstborn uh, son there. Okay. All right. So let's see. What else can we get there? All right. What golden image did the Israelites make at Mount Sinai? And to give you a little bit of context, you've heard me talk about um, and heard me preach a little bit about. So Moses was commanded to go up, uh, go up the mountain, right? He went up the mountain in order to, to, to go and receive some things uh, from God, right? Um, but in the interim, the people became restless. And so they built and formed what, right? A, a golden image that the Israelites made. I'm going to defer to Facebook Live first. Anyone on Facebook Live? What golden image did the Israelites make at Mount Sinai? What golden image? Facebook Live. We have Sister Kaylin on the line. She's got her hand up and she's ready to answer. All right. Anyone? Facebook Live? No, but the Facebook Live crew does say that they were not able to or did not have the three questions. Again, I think they just moved out of the chat after we did our Oh, so the free chicken there, they, they yeah. weren't able to get their ex extra points. Okay, we'll have to circle back on that. All right. So, Miss Kaylin, go ahead. A golden calf. A golden calf. You are correct. All right, so let me Facebook Live. They're going to need to kind of speed this thing up to, to, to get to where we need to go. All right. Uh, let's see. What city, what was the name of the city that Jesus was born in? Oh, Sister Kaylin, you have your hand up again? Or did you never take it down? I have it up again. Oh. Okay, 
Facebook crew, what say you? <laughs> Facebook crew, anyone? Yeah. All right. So nobody from Facebook crew. All right. Sister Carolyn, what do you have? Bethlehem. Bethlehem, is that your final answer? Yes. Hey, are you sure? Oh, my Smith from the Facebook crew also <laughs> says Bethlehem. Oh yes, I'm sure. All right, you don't sound very sure. So we're gonna give that point to uh, to, to Ma Smith. No, I am sure. <laughs> That's my sure point. Maybe we should give double points. Both get a point. No, I'm sorry. There was what? a there's a hint of doubt that that wasn't there your wasn't final a hint. answer. I was that was a pause of thinking and then realizing I am correct. Okay, so we're gonna put we're gonna put uh, the the Zoom chat on mute here. We're gonna throw. Out All right, so Facebook Live just received their their uh, their question. Um, all right, <laughs> let's see here. Oh, one second. All right, so Pastor Talisa, <laughs> Pastor Talisa over here is is having some issues. <laughs> okay, what body part was Eve made from? out of adam facebook live the question is what body part was eve made out of from adam i see that pastor talicia had her hand up first if oh, no, oh hold, hold on yes okay the, the question i was going to say then facebook yeah, uh, my Smith says his ribs. His rib, yes. Sister Kaylin, was that going to be your response? Yes. You're sad, aren't you? I am. All right. <laughs> so we're, we're coming around the bases here. How many tribes of Israel are there? Okay, Pastor Talicia? Twelve. Twelve. Don't want to give the wrong mark. Okay. How many tribes consisted, uh, did the Northern Kingdom consist of? Uh oh. How many tribes? Okay, Sister Kaylin. My bad. I didn't mean to raise my hand now. You, you didn't mean to raise your hand? Wait, yes, I did. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm good. Oh, my Smith says 10 Wait. on Facebook. No, I was. So, Facebook Live has struck again. I was about to say 10. <laughs> there are 10. Good job. So, that being said, there was a northern and a southern kingdom. Which one was Judah? Southern. Southern. Is that your final answer? You sound like you're hesitating again. I'm not. That's my final answer. It's your final answer. You were correct. Judah was the southern king. What was the northern kingdom called? Oh, okay. Your hand is back down. So we have two kingdoms. We have a northern and a southern. We already identified that there were 10 in the northern and that the southern um, consisted of Judah. What was the northern called? Uh oh, we got Sister Kaylin up. Do we have anybody on Facebook Live? We have to compensate because they're a little bit slower typing. Yeah. Uh oh, Sister Kaylin's hand went back down. Yeah. Are you not sure? I'm Northern Kingdom. On, what on was the Northern Kingdom called? Mm. 
Anyone? Anyone? Pastor Talicia, anybody? Northern Kingdom. Other than the Northern Kingdom. Um, I'm not sure this is. Never mind, that was the capital. Um, Facebook Live? Still working on the question. Okay. Two kingdoms. Northern Southern Kingdom, right? We already established that the Northern Kingdom had 10 tribes. Mm -hmm. We have also established that Judah was in the Southern Kingdom and it was known as Judah, right? So what was the Northern Kingdom? I mean, it's- you, you, Israel? Oh, there you go. I was, I was gonna say so that very, very- um, It seemed too simple. We were overthinking it. Yeah, yeah, yeah so. it was. I was about to say I overthought it and it's Israel, but she got the words out before me. <laughs> okay. Out of which tribe did Saul turn Paul come from? It's 12 tribes. I'm sorry, Pastor Talisa, what did you say? No. Sister Kaylin? Benjamin. Benjamin. He was a Benjamite. And that has some significance that we will talk at a later date all right what was paul well let's just say it, saul what was he um what was he affiliated with before he met christ on the road to damascus okay pastor talicia per persecuted christians that is partially correct but you don't get a tick mark what was he, what group was he affiliated with? He's a Benjamite, that's his tribe, but what was he affiliated with? Saul, if you look into the book of Acts, you start going, when he gets his commission to go forth to do things. He has to persecute Jews or persecute Christians. Okay, we'll circle back to that. What was Paul's occupation? What's that? I said my hand was raised. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead, Sister Kayla. Was he a Pharisee? He was a Pharisee. Oh, there seems to be some contention here with Pastor Talisa, who did not raise her hand or, or sound <laughs> off. Okay, yeah. So, well, I didn't hear the answer. We got to listen. Ty goes to Sister uh, Kaylin here because she actually raised her hand and spoke. All right. So, yes, Paul was a Pharisee. Okay. The last question that we have here, um, and then we'll go into prayer. I appreciate everybody. What was Paul's profession? Apostle Paul, who says that he had the right as an apostle to take up um, uh, uh, money and so forth, but he earned his own way. What was his profession? He did this by day, preached and taught, um, you know, for the Lord as well. He's a hard worker. What was, what was Paul's uh, profession? Anyone? 10 seconds. Paul's profession. Uh, Ma Smith has chimed in from Facebook. Uh -huh. And she says that Paul, Apostle Paul's profession was a prophet. No. Strike one. What was that? I'm not sure. Uh, come on. No, no, no. Come on, Pastor. Come on, get up. You got you to swing. He, the... I don't, was he a tax collector? No, 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 no. Paul? Oh, not Paul. I'm sorry. Sorry. All right. Oh, Sister Kaylin. Sorry. You have your hand raised. Um, do you like make things? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Wait, put you, Paul, put... 
Like put, your, put, put your hand down. No way. Put your hand down. We are muting. No, because it said he used his hands. And we, we, we are muting Sister Kaylin and her doubting. Paul was a tent maker. That's right. And so oh, when yeah. you go to compare and contrast um, two of the more prominent apostles, um, you look at Peter, who was a fisherman, and you look at uh, Paul, who's a tent maker, a lot of symbolism there, um, and just sheer amazement of what God, um, what God shows there. But yes, uh, Paul was a tent maker. All right. So, uh oh, we got something here. Uh, yes, uh, Sister Kaylin is still giving sad face, and so uh, we apologize for her. She, she again, partially right, uh, making things with the hands. But we, we're not looking for partial. We're looking for complete answers. So I hope everyone enjoyed. Um, we're looking to get more folks on. And in the future, if, if, if folks are going to stay on Facebook Live, we'll try to do maybe face, Team Facebook Live versus maybe Team um, team Zoom. Maybe have it like a family food type thing. So uh, interested to see your thoughts. Hopefully, we got a little something out of this. We threw some things out there. We also should have learned that you must be sounding your doctrine. You can't allow a preacher, a teacher, or anyone, because Jesus told us there's false uh, prophets out there, false teachers already among us, antichrist, many antichrists, what Paul tells us, right? So we have to be sound in our doctrine, and that's part of it, uh, part of this exercise here. Those are on tape delay. Uh, hopefully, as you're going through it, you're, 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 you're writing some stuff down, answer some stuff, and uh, I hope you find this useful. We're going we're gonna to build upon this a little bit different way to learn the Bible. In other words, we're getting to know God uh, so that we can trust God and we can believe God. That's how we're learning to walk, one step at a time, knowing him, um, trusting in him with the end state of ultimately believing in him. And so all along the way, increasing our faith reps. So if all hearts and minds are clear, we're going to go ahead and we're going to pray on out. We thank you for attending tonight and to God be the glory. So Heavenly Father, we call to you tonight. We thank you now in the name of Jesus. We thank you now for allowing us to have uh, a great session here of learning about you through your word in this biblical trivia. And we thank you now, Father God, that as we have learned a little bit more about you, that Father God, we our desire is to learn even more, to get to know you even more. Be it either through some trivia, be it through shifting through uh, the Bible, or, or just learning from our teachers uh, of the word, Father God. But Father God, let us discern what is your true word and what are those that come with malintention, with bad intention, uh, with something that sounds like your word, but not your word. So Father God, as we study your word, we go back to your word, it says, study and show thyself approved, workmen need not be ashamed. Let us be workers of your word, Father God, that not only that we work the word, Father God, but we present it, Father God, in everything that we do. Now, Father God, we thank you for allowing your word to be in us and to meet us at the point of need. Now, Father God, we ask that it be an open door to your kingdom, that those who don't know you, Father God, that those who are staying in darkness, Father God, might see the light and be able to make an informed decision. Now, Father God, we glory in you that all healing, all release, Father God, all increase, all resuscitation, all strength, all power is in you, with you, and through you, and touching us, Father God, as we look towards the cross as our compass. Your holy word is your as our roadmap, and the Holy Spirit as our guide. To you be the glory. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Go in peace, be blessed, and give some Jesus.